happened. Heard fought back tears as a judge was shown video of Johnny Depp assaulting cabinets during a fight she covertly recorded. Miss Heard was visibly moved as she viewed the video of Mr. Depp ripping up a kitchen at his house in West Hollywood, California, while the couple was still married. Miss Heard closed her eyes and looked down as the video played in the Virginia courthouse, where the couple's multi million dollar defamation trial is being fought. In the video, Depp is seen slamming kitchen cabinets and trashing stuff while wearing a feathered hat and heavy sunglasses. It was shown during Mr. Depp's cross-examination by Ms. Heard's counsel at the end of the second week of the trial. Ms. Heard was caught in the video telling Mr. Depp, All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you? I don't think so. You drank this whole thing this morning? Mr. Depp was questioned if he had drank a mega pint of red wine by her attorney, to which he replied he'd poured himself a large glass of wine. It seemed necessary to me. I did a few of the cabinets, Mr. Depp admits, but I did Miss Heard. I did not try to intimidate Miss Heard, he continued. Why was she filming if she was intimidated? Why didn't she leave if she was scared to death? Jurors were also shown a People magazine cover depicting the aftermath of an alleged headbutt in which Ms. Heard appeared to have black eyes. When asked about the event in December 2015, in which he testified that he had restrained Ms. Heard during a dispute and she claims he headbutted her, Mr. Depp contends any contact was incidental as a result of her struggle. I was trying to restrain Ms. Heard, and once I had restrained her, she was still trying to move around or kick at me. It's not impossible for them to bump, but a headbutt? That's pretty extreme, Johnny told the court. The incident's audio recordings were later played in court. If you want to have a peaceful conversation with Ms. Heard, you might have to placate just a little bit, Mr. Depp remarked after the initial recording. Mr. Depp is suing Ms. Heard for $50 million for claiming in a 2008 op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post that he assaulted her. Despite the fact that she did not name him, the lawyers believe that her allegations have made it impossible for him to get film jobs, thereby transforming him from Cinderella to Quasimodo in Hollywood, as the Pirates of the Caribbean actor put it. Throughout the day, Heard's lawyer sent out a flood of messages in an attempt to prove that Depp used abusive language in text with his wife. The only reason we go for the throat is love, Depp wrote in one, which was read by Heard's attorney, Ben Rottenborn. My throat is yours, Heard said. I know you're gonna kill me, but I don't care. I have other uses for your throat, which do not include injury, Depp replied. I'm sorry, could you read that again, Depp said on the witness stand. Several people in the courtroom burst out laughing. Another set of texts was released on May 22, 2016, the day after Depp and Heard's altercation in their downtown Los Angeles penthouse, which resulted in her claim that he struck her, prompting her to file for a restraining order. Sorry, I'm just leaving Amanda's birthday now, Heard wrote in the message. Just let me know when you have a minute and I'll call you. Nothing I have to say to you should elicit anything but a sense of ease. All my love and profound apologies. Another audio clip was played in which Depp was heard using the C word in reference to Heard, followed by the sound of him puking. Rottenborn appeared to be hell-bunt on playing clips more than once at times. Yes, I screwed up and went too far in our fight, Depp wrote in a text message to Heard's father, David, in late December 2015. According to Depp, the text did not mention a physical fight. Rottenborn, on the other hand, tried to show that a fight earlier in the month had turned physical. He played an audio clip in which Depp says, I headbutted you in the f***ing forehead. That isn't gonna break anyone's nose. I did say those words, but they were Miss Heard's words, and there was no intentional head Depp explained. You might have to placate a little bit if you want to have a peaceful conversation with Miss Heard. While being cross-examined in Amber Heard's $50 million defamation trial, Johnny Depp faced more harsh and messy revelations about his alcohol and drug use. Even if what appeared to be a storm of incriminating documentation, the man who portrays the soused Captain Jack Sparrow for years was not taking it lying down. 
No, I wasn't drinking that heavily. What it's you define as heavily. Depp retorted to defense attorney Ben Rottenborn when asked about his drinking habits in the final years of his long-term relationship with Vanessa Paradis, the mother of his now grown children. Following that, the lawyer read testimony from Depp's failed 2020 UK libel case against the Sun newspaper, in which the actor stated, I was definitely alcohol during the end of the Paradis relationship. After asking Rottenborn, were you there, about his drinking, Depp softly admitted that the testimony from the other side of the Atlantic was what he said, seemingly contradicting his position in this case that he was not a heavy drinker and has never had a drinking problem. At one point, communications from Depp were read aloud in the Virginia courthouse, slamming the French extortionist and ex in reference to Paradis, laying the groundwork for a pattern of such excessive language and intent on Depp's part. However, in a day that included references to Keith Richards and Elton John, among others, Depp's alleged widespread use was the primary focus of today's proceedings in the high-profile battle between the ex-couple. As more photographs and text messages were shown in court, Depp tried to emphasize that his intake was not about enjoyment, but about coping with the blast radius of his dysfunctional childhood and cinematic workload. I didn't take the pills to get high, I took the pills to get normal, the ex pirate of the Caribbean star said of his oxycodone addiction several years ago. The extent of that addiction and other substances was made abundantly clear in a text message sent by one of his nurses in response to Black Mass in 2015. I was very high when I made that film, Depp admitted to the nurse, laughing digitally. Later, the literary aspiring Depp attempted to put his own spin on his communications, as he's done numerous times over the past three days and in previous court filings. When I write a test, especially if I'm in a particularly impassioned place, it's a canvas, it's a painting, the actor declared before being shut down by Rottenborn. Destruction of property in rooms full of and animals and was also mentioned today in a methodical process aimed at Depp's fraying assertions about his personality and behavior in his relationship with Heard and previously. A trip to near Palm Springs in May 2013 with Heard and others was also recorded. During that visit, Depp punched a bathroom after an argument with openly Heard about the attention another woman was giving her. Let's burn Amber, Depp remarked to Bettany in a text message in 2013. Before we burn her, let's drown her. Benjamin Rottenborn, the American lawyer for Aquaman actress Amber Heard, asked Depp if he met the standards of a Southern gentleman. When you have deep, deep roots in the South, you're raised to be a Southern gentleman, Depp said, referring to a time when chivalry was alive and legal. I believe I do live up to the standards. I've certainly done my best all my life. He then stated that he had strayed from such standards and that it was a natural primal thing for him to do. Bettany reported admitting to drinking all night before picking up her to travel to Los Angeles in a later discussion. Ugly mate, no food for days, powders, half a bottle of whiskey, a thousand Red Bulls and vodkas, pills, two bottles of champers on the plane, was the message. Much of the evidence presented thus far in the trial has focused on his use of narcotics when the two were together, which Heard's lawyers claim provoked violent outbursts. Depp earlier testified that Heard's behavior had motivated him to take narcotics and that she had not been supportive of his sobriety efforts. While disturbing audio was also played to the court in which Heard allegedly admitted to striking her ex-husband. Rottenborn reminded Depp on Wednesday that the lawsuit was not based on anything the actress had done previously to authoring the Washington Post story. When the trial in the Fairfax County District Court resumes, Depp will continue to testify. What are your thoughts on this video? Do you think Johnny Depp will face major consequences for his violence? Do let us know in the comment section below.